Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I've had a lot of people ask me about the 300 watt solar blanket, get an idea of some of the, um, because it's our newest solar blanket, what can it power for power stations? So I've got some examples here. Milo's are helpful. He's our helper. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've got some examples here of some different power stations, very popular ones. I'm going to show you uh, the different cables that we use are an example of the different cables. We have multi well, a multitude of, of cables. Either way, uh, as an example, I've got a Blue Eddy AC200 Max here. I've got an Anchor Powerhouse 767. I've got an EcoFlow Delta 2 Max and an EcoFlow Delta 2 as well. Any of these can be powered by our 300 watt solar blanket, plus many others as well too. Um, our 300 watt solar blanket, this is it right here show you guys lightweight 13.2 pounds I'm going to show you it laid out um, and pretty darn simple all of ours come with an Anderson SB connector that's this red connector right here all of our 300 watt solar blankets and it's the same with all of our bigger ones are 220 200s 215s and 120s as well have two USB charging ports on the back a USB type C and a DC 5521 these are regulated so it's not like it has a built-in MPPT solar charge controller but these are regulated so there's only a certain amount of power for powering your smaller devices although you can power uh, a laptop or let's say a new MacBook Pro uh, with USB type C with this solar blanket as well so here and that's just our waterproof cover that we have on these now let me show you our example of two of our cables here so anytime you're purchasing from us you're gonna want two things here let me just separate all of this there we go you're gonna want one of our extension cables that's this right here it's uh, five meters or approximately 16 and a half feet in in length and as you can see same thing we use the Anderson SB connector here uh, like we do on that uh, now this is an example here this is a Anderson SB to we have an XT 60i connector so that's gonna work really well with the EcoFlow products and the anchor products as well too um, we do have multi other cables like for example the Blue Eddy AC 200 max or any of the Blue Eddy products they have their own solar cables have an MC 4 end we do have cables for those along with all of the other models as well but here let me lay out a solar blanket for you give you an idea this, this way it'll give you perspective on size, which is this guy right here. So this is going to be it here. Pretty simple. It's going to lay it out. It's kind of like an accordion. It's quite easy to do. We just got the cable up there. And that's it. You lay this out and how you would connect everything, like I said, quite simple. You'd start with the extension cable, which is this guy right here. And all you would do is just connect. I don't know if you can see that right there. And there's no way you can't, you can't reverse it by the way. There's no way to reverse polarity. So you just connect one end and then you would connect that end to whichever cable you're using from us. We're going to use the XT60i, like I said, as an example. And where that's going to connect, I'll bring over, this is the EcoFlow Delta 2. It's right on the back. You can see another orange connector. That's the XT60i there. So I'm just going to connect to the back. This guy is fully topped up. It's not going to draw any power. But that is it. As you can see right there. That's all I did. So for anybody that's curious on how to connect our solar blankets to a solar generator, these are prime examples of how we do that. So I just wanted to give you an idea on that. Uh, any questions? My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. We do have stock of solar blankets in stock. We do have solar generators ready to ship. My personal favorites are the EcoFlow products, especially the Delta series. So if you're looking for multiple solar generators and you're just starting your journey, really consider these because of how uh, I have a, another video and I have a link to it. Um, voltage is the most important thing to know, especially in our interesting times when picking specific solar generators. Anchor would be my second pick. Blue Eddy would be my third after that. But either way, guys, like I said, any questions, let me know. My contact information will be in the back. Please like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye then.